welcome back to the College Cinephile. I am Eric and I'm going to be reviewing Last Christmas. That is directed by Paul Fagg and it's produced and written by Emma Thompson with story by Greg Weiss and Emma Thompson as well. Uh, now, this stars Madison Inglesby, Emma Thompson, Henry Golding, Michelle Yeoh as Santa, and a special appearance by Miss Patty Lapone. This is about a woman named Kate who has recently subscribed to a bad decision life and she works at a Christmas retail store with a woman who calls herself Santa and then she meets a man named Tom who kind of helps her a little bit along the way and helps her make a little bit of a life turn. Now as far as a Christmas film, this kind of holds up pretty well. If you're a fan of the British films like uh, Love Actually and things like that, then you're really going to enjoy it. It has a very British tone because it's, it's slightly, I'd say bland. Like what I mean by that is in British tone, you can basically have, it's kind of like food. When you, when you eat British food, sometimes there's not enough sugar, there's not enough spice. It's, it's a little bland. Now that doesn't mean that it doesn't have a good taste. It just means that uh, Americans have a little bit more sugar and this one kind of needed just a bit more sugar, but it was really good. I won't say that it was bad at all. There was really good character development and it was really good progression. So it was fun. It, you know, it had me the whole time, but if you're expecting the fa la 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 Christmas joy um, and heartfelt things, you might not get it through this one uh, right away but you do get a lot of the Christmas visuals I mean visually it is Christmas you see everything London it's beautiful my gosh this this video was um, the film excuse me this film was really really beautiful now as far as the soundtrack uh, it's pretty much all George Michael and it fits at times but then at others it kind of misses the mark a little bit in my opinion in terms of like grasping the audience's heart so you know as much as I love the idea of a fully George Michael toned and soundtrack oh I mean wake me up before you go go okay I can tell you I love me some George Michael but this one kind of it didn't flow as well sometimes because there are some jukebox movies that, you know, it's all one soundtrack and it works really well. And this one, I think, kind of had some difficulties in doing that, but it wasn't terrible. And if you're a George Michael fan, you're going to love it. I mean, and if you're not a George Michael fan, you'll get to hear some of his, his music and kind of learn to have a little faith da, 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 in him. <laughs> yeah, okay, you got that. Um, but yeah, it kind of gives you a little wham. Okay, enough of the George Michael. All right, I'm done. But really, uh, it does have a really good soundtrack. Uh, it, it just, again, as far as marrying the soundtrack with the visual, we have some issues once in a while, in my personal opinion. And again, the scenery is gorgeous. London is incredible. I've never really thought about London at Christmas, but now I'm kind of like, wow, it was lit. There was Christmas lights. It was romantic. It was beautiful. Now, as far as it being a romantic film, it is one to bring you a little date to snuggle up, cuddle up, and you know, and get a little cuddle here and there and, and watch the movie. It, it, it is that kind of movie, but guys, girls, bring your tissues. Or maybe just, uh, maybe it was just that time of the month for me because I cried like a baby. It was, it was so enduring and so sweet in terms of, of what happened. Uh, in this film because it really it, it has a powerful message about loving yourself and about about being who you are and and uh, you know as RuPaul says if you can't love yourself how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else can I get an amen what what <laughs> that's right you guys it really was that um, it was a film about loving yourself and picking yourself up and 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 dusting yourself off when you when you've kind of hit rock bottom uh, but it had a beautiful story about the heart and about uh, who you are and so I definitely recommend it to, especially if you're a, a romantic comedy film or if you like uh, if you like romantic movies this definitely um, fits in that world if you like movies like remember me uh, you know then that's that's definitely gonna it's gonna appeal to you. Now, it's not gonna appeal to everybody. If you want a super romantic comedy like Sweet Home Alabama, that sort of thing, you're probably not gonna get that in this film. Uh, and also in terms of like 
Love Actually, you, you kind of don't get a Love Actually sort of film either. So don't go expecting that. Just, just go enjoying yourself and, and expect a good movie and um, just immerse yourself in the world and I, I recommend watching it. And so as far as a rating, I'm going to give it, well, here's what, I, here's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a, a four. I, I almost gave it a three and a half. But I really, I think it's a good solid four because Emma Thompson was great in it. Uh, the characters were all great. It was, it was nice. It was, it was sweet. Uh, it had a wonderful, wonderful tone. So yeah, I'll, I'll give it a four. Well, that was it. Thanks for joining us this week, and uh, thanks for listening to my little uh, review. And again, if you want, subscribe, like, click that little D button, that little subscribe, ding, ding, and uh, ring that bell. And then also comment, guys. Tell us what you think. We really love hearing from you, and we love to know what you guys are thinking. So tell me, what did you think? What was, was, was it a great Christmas movie in your opinion? Well, thanks a lot. Have a great day, and bye, Curious. Mwah.